Hi friends, from our last video, I hope you understood our project requirement. So in this video, let's try to analyze, plan our project development. So the things that we have to check in analyze or planning stage is verification or validation of our source file with the end user requirement. So here, so this is our file and this is our requirement, right? So let's go to this file and verify whether or not we receive all these files in this location, in this file. So let's open the target for source folder location to verify those details. So I'm in the source location now. So this is the file or sample file that manager has provided us. So let's open this file to verify the source details. So these are the header we are receiving. This is the data we are receiving from the source file. And let's try to check the report, the target report header is matching or we receiving these details in the source file or not. So he is asking for state and the summary view of number less than national payment and number same as national payment. So here we are receiving state and we are receive, receiving other two column details as well. So now we we can confirm or we our validation is completed. Right? Like, like we can build a report uh, like uh, he need based on the source file, right? So we are confident that we can do this using the details provided. Uh, so the basic validation is completed now. So at least we got to know we can build this report out of this source. So what's next? Our next step before we actually start our SSIS development is to analyze the existing environment. So what's your environment? So our environment, we have to verify like, uh, so here my environment is in SSMS. Uh, this is a 2019 version server. And these are 2019 SQL Server databases. And, uh, and I would like to deploy our SSIS project into Integration Services Catalog database. So, so in, so, and I want to use SQL Server agent job to automate our process. So this is my current environment and I'm using Visual Studio and uh, the project for designing. So we, we got all the tools needed and we understood the target server version and the deployment model and the automation uh, process that we want to follow for this project. So this is our the second step in this planning or analyzing phase. So after this, the other planning we have to do is understanding our fixed and variable changes. So here, fixed and changing attributes. So here, the date part, the source file date part will be changing on a daily basis. So the connection manager, the source connection manager will be changing on a daily basis. So we have to handle this in our package design. And the, once the file has been loaded or uh, our task is completed uh, for, for that date, we have to uh, either move this file into an archive folder or we have to uh, move the target report into archive folder or this, uh, how it works. So we have to build some logic to automate the process and to be clear uh, to be able to easily uh, make the file identifiable by our manager. Okay, you will understand very clearly in, in as we go in the development process. So these are the three important steps that we have to plan before we uh, go to package development. So the next, so the next one, is to build. So let's go to building uh, our project. Let's uh, develop our project.
the next video. Thanks a lot for watching my video.